What is opera? 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 What is opera to me? What does opera mean to me? What opera is to me? What is opera? It's such a good question and one I've asked myself many times. I constantly find myself trying to sell opera to strangers as I travel the world doing opera. One of my favorite things to do. But I myself began my career on Broadway, on the stages of musical theater. And when I started to do opera, I asked myself, well, what is the difference? They're both telling a story through words, music, direction, choreography, design. There's a director, there's a conductor, there's an audience, there's an orchestra. So what is the difference between opera and musical theater? Opera, by definition, is a piece that is sung by singers, usually without a microphone. There's usually an orchestra. And the art form itself started about 500 years ago. The first opera that we know of was most likely a piece called Daphne. And shortly after that, the idea of this art form where singers got on stage with an orchestra became just wildly enthusiastically received. Orchestra was born of opera. Not to say opera invented orchestra, but prior to orchestras being used in opera, orchestras were more like bands. It would just get together and they'd all kind of play the same thing. But an orchestra in an opera was different because the instruments were assigned certain parts in the opera and thus was born the ensemble, the orchestra, people working together and collaborating on stage. And that's my favorite thing about opera or musical theater or any artistic project is collaboration. I wanted to answer this question and got stumped. And so I called in some friends, some of my favorite artists in the opera world, some of my favorite collaborators in the opera world. I would like you to hear from these remarkable singers, directors, conductors, artistic directors, designers, fans, and so many more who wanted to tell you what opera is to them. Opera is really cool. <laughs> it's, you know, cool. Opera is passion. Opera is spectacle. Opera is fun. Opera is storytelling at its best. Opera is awesome. Opera is like going to the movies with a much better soundtrack. It's loud and it's exciting and it's in your face. Opera is my job. Opera is life-changing. Opera has made my life different. Opera is raw emotion. Opera is lived experiences. Opera is live. Opera is life buzzing at its most heightened place. Opera is communication through vibration. Opera is communication and communication is community. Opera is community. Opera is an experience that brings us together and allows us to find our common humanity. It is tradition. Opera is my calling. Opera is the sweet, timeless, magical elixir. Opera is sharing. It is innovation. Opera is love. Opera is love. Opera is passion. Opera is amazing. It's amazing. It's exciting. Opera's, Opera's exciting. exciting! Opera's invigorating. Opera is my saving grace. It's everything. <laughs> it's everything. It's everything. It's everything. Opera is the most complete art form. Opera is authenticity. Opera is my voice. Opera is sacrifice. Opera is drama. Opera is vulnerability. Opera is the best break I ever had in my life. Opera is a world of gorgeous sounds and extraordinary people. Opera has great stories. Opera is amazing storytelling. 
and drama. Opera is the art of storytelling through music. And it's a way for many different people to connect with each other, even if they're not actually talking to each other. Incredible stories told through amazing music. Opera is an art form that takes classical singing and orchestra, costumes, sets, and brings stories to life with a whole lot of drama. Opera is pretty dresses and getting to collaborate with some of your favorite people. Uh, theatrical work, set to music for singers and instrumentalists. And allows us to make the invisible visible, unearth melody from silence, and provides us catharsis, uh, transformation, and a reminder that we are united. I think opera is kind of like watching sports and a movie and going to an art gallery and going to the ballet and going to a concert like all at once. Opera is a whole bunch of different art forms together all at the same time. It takes emotion and transforms it into sonic and visual art. It's like that painting that comes to life and starts talking to you and says, look over here now, now look at this shade of blue. Opera is the place where the biggest stories can be told. Opera is storytelling. It is storytelling through every art form possible, all at once. Opera is exciting storytelling. Opera is all about the story. And to me, the story is the most important part. Stories of passion, betrayal, romance, friendship, intrigue, everything that makes an incredible story. Those stories are about us. There are sad stories, tragic, funny, silly, goofy. There are 20 minute operas. There are seven hour operas. Opera can be both big and small. It can live in big proscenium theaters, warehouses, chamber spaces, on the street, and in film, it has small and big orchestras. It can be a cappella and amplified. To me, opera is intense, and we are in a tent tonight, adapting to COVID-19 to provide live, safe performances for our audience. In opera, all art forms come together, providing an experience that touches all of our senses. All delivered to you by the human voice. <sighs> Opera is my pre-workout, it keeps me pumped. Whether you wanna see something that is funny, whether you wanna see a love story, a horror story, or anything in between, you can find it with Opera. What Opera means to me is meeting really fun and interesting people. It's a comedy. Tragedy. Weird. Silly, 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 interesting. Romance. Fun. <laughs> it's just my life. <laughs> Opera is where theater and music intersect. Think about a mashup of all of your favorite things put together. It just brings together the singing, the music, and the dance, the acting, the lighting, the design, the sets. Haven't you ever just felt something so strongly that you wanted to burst out in song? Opera is a wonderful and exciting combination of the arts. We have singers, we have instrumentalists, we have costumes, we have sets, we have lighting, we have dancers. We have so much going on all at the same time. Opera lives under the umbrella of music theater. It has classical singing, but not only. There are works that include dancers, actors, drag queens, spoken word artists, and more. In opera, they never stop singing. Opera is, at its most basic level, the intersection of music and text, which collaborate to tell a story. For me, opera is a celebration of art. Opera, on the surface, 
is the synthesis of all the art forms, bringing music and theater, movement, history, and visual art together. All types of art, all together, on stage, at the same time. Opera is an amalgamation of all of the arts, singing, acting, dancing, scenic design, costume design, which come together to tell intimate human stories in a grand way. Acting, making music, singing, singing with the orchestra, playing with costumes, different periods, playing with props, acting, reacting, and storytelling with your favorite people. I love opera because it combines so many different genres, from singing to music, dancing. Opera is collaboration. It's people of all types coming together to make something huge, bombastic, powerful, overwhelming, something that gives you a punch in the gut. So what I love about opera are the characters and the journey they take. And I get so invested in the story and all that music, all that singing makes me feel emotions. And that's what makes opera more special than a movie or play. But really what I love about opera even more than that is the teamwork. I love opera because hearing the orchestral players and singers performing together live is spectacular. Opera singers are the Olympians of singing because they have to have incredible vocal power, control, and virtuosity. It's very virtuosic. Um, it takes a lot of training. It takes a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of strength to do it and to do it well. Among all the vocalists, it's the opera singers who are true Olympic vocal athletes. It's an art form that is more than 400 years old, but that doesn't mean it looks or sounds old. In fact, it's not. There are so many living artists creating opera that don't represent the old and dated stereotypes that are often perpetuated in pop culture. It is a creation of musical storytelling, collaboration with an orchestra or ensembles, singing, dancing and movement, drama, visual art with set designs and costumes, and the use of technology with lighting and sometimes musical and visual effects. All of these things come together to help tell a story live on stage. It includes every language imaginable. Opera is all art forms put together on stage for everyone's enjoyment. Not only do you have operatic singing, but you have dancing, set design, beautiful costumes, large orchestration, all for just a grand experience and another tool for us to have human connection. Opera is a theatrical art form in which a story is told through music, where the emotional landscape of the story is done through song. Opera often accentuates and explores a moment in the human condition for which we can dissect and feel for within the musicality of the piece presented. Opera is brought to life by many wonderful artists from all sorts of backgrounds. Think fashion with costume design, woodcraft and architecture with set design, directing, dance, lighting design, and so much more. So there's a lot of people who work in the opera production, everything from set design costume to stage crew, stage management, singers, pianists, orchestra magicians, conductor, director. There are so many people who put in countless hours of work to make one opera production happen. So many hours of rehearsal. And we make it together, we create it together. And it's so special to have this community that come together to make this one opera production happen. And it is so gratifying to go through the performance and share that experience with an audience. Huh? I couldn't hear you. I was watching opera. Opera to me is like a recipe for magic. You take equal parts storytelling and poetry and music and different cultures. You create worlds with lighting and sets and costumes and you mix it all up with a whole bunch of brilliant singers and amazing directors and a lot of teamwork and of course the audience. It's a wonderland for imagination, sound worlds and story. To me, opera is a treasure chest of the arts. I feel that they're invited into the metaphysical world, the otherworldliness of something that you can't uh, touch, you can't limit. And you have magic. It opens and provokes the audience. 
I think that opera taps into that something. It's a way of communicating our deepest and most authentic conversations. You're going to hear vocalists create fireworks from their instrument, which is their body. How cool is that? As they express it through their singing, they transform the sound waves in the room. And those sound waves enter your body, vibrate your body, and you feel something. The fact that they are seeing these things together affects their bodies. It's not just about listening. And if it is listening, it has to be deep listening. But it is how you feel and see sound. In the same way that laughter is contagious or that one yawn evokes another yawn, we have a way of communicating that goes beyond words, something that we don't completely understand. I think what opera is, is the opportunity to tell a story in the most rich, most detail-oriented way that you possibly can because you not only have the music helping you lead the audience to the truth of your story, but you also have the acting, you also have the words, you also have the orchestra, and all these threads of melody helping, all assisting in the same goal to reach some kind of deep truth about, about what we are experiencing on this earth as human beings. I got into opera because I wanted to sing like the rock and roll stars that I admired. And that led me to a voice teacher who had studied classical voice technique when I was a teenager. Thanks to that mentorship, that love and cultivation, as well as a strong local opera company that provided uh, shows and training and experience for me, I became a lifelong practitioner and a lifelong fan. I sing a lot of different styles. You can see my guitar behind me. I do pop rock, I do musical theater, I do jazz. And um, opera is set apart from those genres because opera is my voice. I don't manipulate my voice to sing opera. I don't make it fit a style, take out my vibrato, or, or do different things to fit it. Opera is me. So when I'm singing a character, when I'm giving life to a character, that is my voice. Those are my experiences. And I can sing it with the full ferocity of who I am. I think having the opportunity to be fully present on stage, to feel like there are infinite possibilities and to see things through other people's eyes. And what I've experienced because it demands your voice, nothing less. But the thing is that I feel that opera has um, makes me face myself and that it is my teacher and singing is my teacher. I've learned more about myself through my work than any self-help book that I've bought and I've bought many. And that's why I love singing it. You have to make it look so easy on the outside but absolutely specific and detailed on the inside. We have to find the special energy of the scene and make sure that that is pure and then share it with everybody else. To me, opera is like an emotional play. It's like a roller coaster going through emotions and you get to you get to like f be in the character's shoes, questioning themselves about their own feelings. I think it, it relates personally to people even though they're all together in one place. A singer is engaged in the text, in the emotion, and they feel something as they take their breath. I think what's powerful about opera is that it reaches our subconsciouses in a really immediate way. It's so powerful and so magical. When I was a kid, the best way that I could communicate, the most pure way for me to get my feelings across was through art. And it's still that way for me, through opera. You get to feel everything that happens to them. It's like, it's pretty much like watching a movie, but better. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like watching a movie, but in real time. I got into opera because when I was a little girl, I saw the movie, The Fifth Element. I was five years old 
and there was a singing alien called Diva Plavaga Luna, and she sang one of Lucia's arias, and I was obsessed with this singing alien. I wanted to be just like her when I grew up, and here I am today, an opera singer. I first learned about opera when I was, I think, in fifth or sixth grade, and it wasn't through any operatic experience, but rather the movie Wayne's World. And there was a scene when they're singing in the car, and they're singing to Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, and I thought this was the most hilarious, amazing, incredible, virtuosic thing I had ever heard before. Bueno, para mí la ópera es un es un tipo de arte super hermoso, super especial. Eh, yo he podido ir a una a varias obras y la verdad que la forma en que te llenan es es increíble. Te 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 transmiten sus emociones de una forma super super especial. Porque eh, además de actuar, que obviamente eso transmite emociones. La voz que tienen, o sea, llena todo un lugar. Puede ser una iglesia, puede ser un teatro, un bar, lo que sea. Llena todo eso. Y, y verles a, a estos cantantes sacar esa voz de completamente de adentro y llenar todo ese espacio. It is so part of me, and I feel that it's also part of my whole heritage. It doesn't necessarily have to be a classical way of singing, an operatic way of singing. Opera is defined differently depending on the person you talk to. And I celebrate that. Opera outside of its actual vocal production can really be anything that we want it to be. There's an immense amount of possibility and it strives to evoke genuine emotion, not only from the musicians who are presenting the material, but for the audience who's receiving it as well. Opera contains multitudes, but just like any other great art form, it strives to reflect the times. Opera is more than just beautiful melodies. It is an important art form. Oftentimes a very powerful and and very um, sort of subliminal emotional reaction. And that reaction can open the doors to considering or understanding or respecting another person's way of life or, or perspective or um, belief system. And ideally, when this happens, we sort of all become a smaller community as humankind. The singer really gets to emote how somebody would feel. If they're really excited, if they're really scared, if they're really happy, if they're really mad, it all just, the music envelops those feelings and they become so real and so visceral and something that you can almost touch or, or you can't help but feel along with the characters while they're singing. We can feel the power of the human voice. We can feel the energy and the emotion of the full chorus and of all the instrumentalists together and all the artists. We can feel the work and the dedication that took weeks before a performance. And then when it's the performance, there are no performances that's the same from one night to the other. Una experiencia hermosa. O sea, obviamente, es mi cuñada, está embarazada pero también la forma en que ella salió tan poderosa, tan, tan increíble, porque, como digo, esa voz que sale de adentro es, es increíble. La verdad que a mí me parece un tipo de arte completamente hermoso. I hope that as you discover opera, you open that treasure chest, you see the beauty that's there, and you find the joy. Opera is entertainment. For all people. And opera is for everybody. It's for everyone. Opera is an art form for the masses. There is an opera and a story for everyone. Humanity. I think is just the best art form that there is. This is opera. You have opera. We have the responsibility to make it the best that we can and, and hope that it lasts forever. What is opera? What is opera to you? What will opera be? Will it live on? I hope so. What do you want opera to be? It can be whatever you want. I encourage you to explore, to create, to collaborate, to search the dark corners of this mysterious, wonderful, beautiful art form that lives on without bounds. There are no rules. An opera can be anything you want it to be. What will it be for you?